Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is 8th video in this series and today I'm going to show you how to remove or demote RODC uh, which is read only domain controller from Windows Server 2019 so there was multiple reason to uh, de uh, demote or remove the read only domain controller from your network or from your site might be uh, you have deployed the RODC in your branch office and the branch office has been extended and you want to uh, install one writable domain um, there or might be uh, the branch office is decommissioned so you want to decommission that server and you uh, uh, no need of RODC anymore at the site so there was multiple reason to demote the RODC so in this video we are going to uh, like see how we can demote and how we can remove that uh, read only domain controller and pass the all the settings to, uh, for domain and how we can do the metadata cleanup for active directory um, database also so let's get in so here is my demo environment so all these three server which we have installed in previous videos so the first one is win2k 19 dc01 which is my primary domain controller you can see this is having active directory and DNS role and the IP address is 192.168.0.201 this is my victorinfosol.local domain so this is my primary domain controller you can see win2k19 dc01 and if I go to cmd net dom query fsmo you can see all the roles are FSMO roles are on hosted on DC01 so this is my primary DC and we have a second domain controller which is uh, this is also writable win, um, win2k19 DC02 which is uh, IP address is 192.168.0.202 so if I go here you can see this is my DC02 and the last machine which we have our RODC server which we are going to remove or uh, demote from this uh, domain infrastructure and this is Win2K19 RODC so if I go here this is my RODC server you can see Active Directory and DNS role is installed on this machine and you can see this is joined in my domain and if I go and open tools Active Directory users in computer so if I go to domain controllers you can see I have three domain controller and two are global catalog and uh, writable domains and one RODC is uh, basically read only DC which is having global catalog also so I want to remove this domain controller from here uh, uh, we are planning to demote this so what I'm going to do the basic step I'm going to click on manage from RODC server and remove uh, role and features and click next so click next and then we have active directory domain services so if I uh, uncheck this this is going to give removal of all these map features as well so click on remove features then you will see this is going to give a pop-up that active directory domain control need to demote before active directory can be removed so we need to click on demote this domain controller and you will see supply the credential to perform operation so you have to have domain admin to um, do this administration task and then you need to uh, make sure uh, force to remove of this domain controller and then uh, you need to perform next and then uh, this is going to be give a warning what this is currently holding so this is having DNS server and global catalog also so you want to remove so force uh, proceed to removal and uh, this is warning master the required domain access, uh, active directory services functional and uh, this is same active directory operation may be impacted so we have other two servers writable domain in infrastructure which is fully functional so we can click on next and then you need to select uh, set the new password for local administrator account of this because uh, once this machine is uh, demoted you have to have uh, uh, the new password to log into this machine and the user I account going to be administrator so click next 
and then what it's going to do remove active directory domain services from this committer without updating forest metadata so this is not going to update the f uh, metadata of forest so we need to do it manually so this is fine just click on demote and now it's going to I start uh, demoting this server so the only uh, this is only going to demote this server and it's not going to do metadata cleanup so we have to do the metadata cleanup manually so this is oh, uh, fine so you can say successfully demoted active directory domain controller so this is good and now this machine is automatically going to reboot in some time so now it's rebooting you can see and now if I go to one of my active directory server and under the active directory user saying computers if I go to domain controllers you will see this is the read only computer which having uh, RODC which is having uh, still showing in domain control so now this machine has been demoted and we can go ahead and remove this so uh, this is the administrator password and I'm going to type the password which I have set during the demotion of this machine and now this machine is going to be part in uh, part of work group this is no longer no more longer available in domain so if I go to local server you can see this machine is now joined in a work group here so you can see this is no more in domain so this is good now we can go ahead and remove this feature manage then we need to select the remove role and features click next next and then we can select this active directory users uh, this domain services and also we can mark uh, DNS which we can remove and click next and you c if I go here you can see Active Directory and DNS is installed now I'm going to remove this completely from this machine so remove and same way if I go here we can see still there so I'm going to delete this machine from Active Directory users and computer and then uh, it's going to give you option like uh, warning are you sure want to delete this computer named this yes I want to delete it so this is going to give you option deleting domain controllers so if the read only domain controller was still and compromise you recommend to reset the password so you can use these option if the read only computer uh, domain controller has been compromised or stolen so you can reset all the password you can export the list of users who having their password in this uh, read only domain controller so, so you can do it uh, as per your requirement uh, and I don't need to export on um, uh, reset the password so I just need to go and click delete so are you, uh, you are about to perform the deletion delete all metadata of this computer uh, domain control account yes so now this is validating is okay so this active character uh, domain controller is a global catalog server so I'm f okay with it so now you can see this has been deleted from DC01 and if I go and open a active directory users and computer from DC02 you will be able to see this machine is still reflecting here RODC and sometime it's going to remove automatically but you can see it's no more uh, DC type uh, RODC and uh, other uh, like global catalog is not showing so we have to wait for some time and on the next sync it's automatically going to uh, remove from here so uh, leave it for now and you can see the installation uh, removal is completed and we are good to reboot this machine so I'm going you can say active directory and DNS is no more on this machine so I'm just about to restart finally start this computer so you can see it's working on features and now if I go and click refresh you can see uh, RODC has been deleted from both the DC01 and DC02 now and for the site and services uh, uh, data cleanup we need to go to active directory site and services and there you will be able to see 
this uh, uh, replication topology so we don't need this so we can go ahead and delete this you can see uh, metadata is cleanup is done uh, the survey is still there so we can go ahead and click on delete so it's going to clear from uh, site and services also and same need to verify from DC02 so I'm going to open active directory site and services on domain controller 2 so if I expand the sites and under the India servers you can see we have only three servers which is a uh, child domain controller and DC01 and DC02 so this is good and this machine RODC is, is removed so the removal of uh, read only domain control is completed now and this machine is no more available in a uh, domain also it's no more available anywhere in the active directory uh, so we are good and now since this is a uh, 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 RODC is clean up is done and everything is good we can go ahead and delete this virtual machine if this is a virtual machine you can delete from this if that is a you can say a physical server you can f uh, decommission that server physically like you can unplug the power cables you can remove the network cables and then you can um, um, uh, take in, in, in the uh, storage or somewhere else so this is good since this is a virtual machine I'm going to permanently de delete this machine so this is done so now we have successfully remove a, uh, 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 remove and demote the uh, RODC domain controller read only domain controller from Windows Server 2019 infrastructure so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.